Hey guys, I'm in my trailer, of course, waiting because this is a business of waiting. Um, how are you guys today? Hopefully, good. We have one more day after today. Today, one more day, and then vacation. We get to go on vacation. Hopefully, everybody gets a nice uh, winter break. Um, let's see. Oh, a bunch of people have been asking me about what kind of martial arts I do and what kind of things that I would recommend and stuff about the gym. Um, I would I was doing Kali, which is Filipino martial arts, and I really liked it. It's a lot of fun um, for people who are not really big on working out but want to start working out. Uh, I'd recommend a class. I really like it's fun, and then you're like an hour of just moving. Um, and it gets you motivated. I've always been a fan of having things that give you a skill, so it's not like you're just on a treadmill for an hour, um, and, but something where you're like learning how to do kickboxing or Zumba or whatever it is. Um, so that's what I would recommend, um, and anybody can do it. Uh, you don't have to like be good to start. Just start. Um, it's fun. And then what else did I want to talk to you guys about? Um, Dreaming big, you know, because I feel like you hear all these people saying, you got to dream big and all this stuff, which is true, um, because you can't become what you can't see. So it's really important to be able to kind of visualize the thing that you want. And a lot of times you can do much more bigger things than you even knew you could. So it's good to have big dreams for sure. Um, but... With that said, don't forget about the small things. Um, I think that's really where magic happens is, is through the little things. Um, whatever you can do on a daily basis. And especially like when you think about even just doing something nice for somebody. I don't know if you've ever had something happen like you lose your phone. And you there it is, your day's ruined and you're stressing out. You have to cancel it. And then some nice person, you know, calls and goes out of their way to help you get your phone back. And not only, like, did your day not get ruined, it just got better because you're like, wow, this person just did something so selfless and so nice just to help me out. Um, so I would say, you know, with doing little things for each other, small little, whatever they say, random acts of kindness, and also just appreciating people and letting them know, um... It really makes a big difference, and you never know whose day you could really make. Uh, it's those small things that make huge, huge changes. And it's the same for your goals. So, like, whatever it is you, you're trying to do, trying to be, don't just focus on um, the end thing. It's the daily deal. Daily, daily details. Um, they say the devil's in the details. But really, like, that's how greatness is made is like by doing everything that you're doing and doing it well and really focusing on doing it great um what else sorry if I'm so preachy today I don't mean to be preachy but I figured I'd come on here and talk to you guys trying to do that more uh let's see from Mexico hey um I love you guys too hugs and kisses when will the see the Lance sisters? I don't know when we'll get to see the Lance sisters together again. Should be cool. Um, hopefully, hopefully soon. What else do I want to talk about? Um, you know, it's an interesting quote that I heard. Uh, it's an Oscar Wilde quote, and it's it's absurd to divide to divide people into good or bad. They're either charming or tedious, and. At first, I was like, oh, wow, that's so true. Um, you know, people, it's not about like, oh, this person's a good person, this person's bad. It's like, are they interesting or are they not interesting? And and I thought that was true. And I think a lot of people think that's true. And I'm now starting to see that that's maybe a really bad way of, of viewing things. Especially now in this day and age where people, the easiest way to get noticed or recognition or get famous is through infamy through something bad through like a sex tape or doing drugs or this or that and it's sad that like we're record re rewarding these people for bad behavior but I think 
what we'll see is that good and bad comes back for reckoning. I think, you know, one day it'll, it'll come back. Um, and it is, it does matter. It matters if people are good. It matters if people are bad. And hopefully we stop um, liking this whole, I don't know, infamy thing and getting people famous and rich off of doing bad things and being bad people. And we start to value being a good person more. Um, okay, anyways, I'll get back to your questions because <laughs> all you guys want to know about is like legends, right? Um, you still like Oliver and Sarah, Sarah as a couple? I don't, I don't think that will probably happen. Glad you like my canary suit. Um, I've never been asked to cover my freckles for a part, no. Usually, actually, everybody likes them. Um, they're really light right now because you can still see them. But I just, I really started wearing sunscreen, uh, which everybody else should start wearing sunscreen. Um, because it damages your skin and skin cancer. But I'm, I'm going to go to Costa Rica, I think, um, and be in the desert over the holidays. So I'm probably going to be in the sun a lot. Um, what else? I think I'm awesome. Thank you. I appreciate that. Would I consider marrying you? No, probably not. Um, love you guys too. Okay. Um, well, I guess that's it. I'll try to come back, keep uh, coming to hang out with you guys. That Beasley's asleep on the couch over there. It's pretty much what he does 90% of the day. Um, okay.